I mean, look, look at that. Look at it. Mm. This is like the best bacon you've ever made. By far, right? Mm -hmm. It has the chew, it so has good. the crunch. Yeah, and it has the softness, like kind of like the soft spots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the flavor's pretty spot on. Mm. Yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, it really is super close. Now you can give this a test on your own. You can check out the flavors I'm gonna be using. You can up those flavors, down the flavors. I would say if anything, this would be a good starting point. This is where you can judge of whether or not you wanna add a little bit more smokiness to it, or maybe a little bit more saltiness to it. But other than that, this is it, vegan bacon. Okay, so to get started on this, you're gonna be using two bowls. Uh, we're gonna be doing one bowl for our uh, colored flavored bacon, like the stripy part, and one bowl for our white part. Now, you don't really have to do this. In my test that I did, uh, I didn't do two different sets of bacon. Uh, I just did one, and it came out really good. It looked really good. But I'm gonna add the stripiness to it just for fun for the video here. So we're gonna start off with a quarter cup of your wheat starch in each bowl, make a mess because starch is super light and it floats everywhere. Now I'm gonna do the colored bacon in the larger bowl and in that bowl, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of tapioca starch. The tapioca starch is really just gonna help this one bind together because we're gonna be adding a little bit more liquid, a little bit more flavors to this. Uh, so we just want something extra in there to kinda, kinda keep everything together and hold it all in one nice piece. So that's why the tapioca starch goes only in the colored version versus the white version. Both bowls get a tablespoon of your mushroom seasoning. And then the red meaty side, you're gonna add a teaspoon, a heavy teaspoon of smoked paprika, teaspoon soy sauce, a quarter teaspoon or just a small drop of liquid smoke. That's all I have left, so that works out. And a teaspoon of maple syrup. Now both bowls get a quarter cup of water each, and this is cold water. And then just whisk them all together. Make sure all that starch is all whisked in. So starch settles pretty fast, so you're gonna wanna whisk these right before you pour. But next up, before we get to that, let's go ahead and get our steamer going. Now, I'm not gonna be using a traditional steamer. I'm just gonna be using a large saute pan filled with a little bit of water and a smooth flat bottom cake pan. That's how we're gonna make our like, kind of like crepe. Essentially, I was inspired by this recipe by traditional uh, Japanese wheat noodles. It's like the wheat, like a starch noodle. There's a ton of different techniques on how people do this, uh, but this is one that I saw. I'll leave a link to the, to the video that I saw this in. Um, but it's really neat. It's just using a smooth flat bottom cake pan and then I'll show you in a large saute pan how we're gonna steam this. Go ahead and just add about a teaspoon of oil to the bottom of your cake pan and just use a paper towel to just kind of wipe out the cake pan. Make sure that it's all nicely coated in oil. Once you have your cake pan coated, go ahead and whisk up your flavors and we're gonna pour a 50-50 mixture of your red flavor and white flavor and kind of go ahead and swirl them so that way they mix together. You want kind of like stripes. Think about stripy bacon. Kind of tilt and round the pan just to make sure that it's very, that it's nice and even. Throw that into the boiling water and keep a hold of it. Keep it tilting to make sure that it's completely coated on the bottom. Once you see it start to cook, it should happen almost instantly where you see the mixture turn slightly translucent. Throw a lid on top to keep it covered and steam these for about four minutes. Once it's done steaming, remove the cake pan and we're gonna drop this into a bowl that I have pre-filled with ice cold water to kind of instantly cool that off and that's going to create our kind of like noodle. Now we have enough left over to do one more, which I'm going to do, but for right now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go around the edges of the inside here and I'm gonna loosen this sheet of a bacon flavored Kind of like this is a big noodle, you know, it's a, just a really thick, big, round noodle. And I'm gonna slowly, with a silicone spatula, kind of push underneath to try to release it all the way around. It's okay if you got some like dried, cracked parts that's gonna, that kind of helps the look of this. Boom, this is our piece of bacon. All I'm gonna do right now is I'm just going to sprinkle just a touch of starch over the top of this. It's gonna kinda of help dry these out and kinda of help it to where it doesn't stick to itself. We have a brush, just brush it on. So at this point we have our two uh, bacon pancakes. These are just like thin skins almost. Now the second one didn't turn out as good because I didn't follow my own instructions and it was pretty thick around the edges uh, and really thin in the middle. This might work out for some really nice pieces of like crispy and chewy bacon, so we'll see. Uh, essentially, all we're gonna do at this point is just cut these guys into strips. I'm just kinda going just a little bit past my first knuckle, you know, about, 
about bacon size strips. Okay, so at this point we have our bacon strips. They don't really look like bacon a whole lot at this moment, but they will. They're gonna fry up, they're gonna crisp up, they're gonna be really nice. So we're gonna just throw a little bit of oil in a frying pan, throw it at a fairly high heat, about a medium, medium high heat. Throw these guys in, let them sizzle, turn once, turn twice, turn the third time, and now you have some bacon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is by far the best vegan bacon that I've ever made. Now, I don't think I needed to do the two parts. I just wanted to kind of test that. When I did my initial test, I didn't do the two parts and it came out pretty dang good. With the two parts, you do have like some minor color variations throughout that look pretty nice. It's up to you whether or not you do that. This one's awesome. 